Hello parents! In this video, I will be showing you the steps you need to follow in order to complete the health screening survey. Before following these steps, you should have completed the concierge pad parent registration that was emailed to you. Once that registration process is complete, you can download the concierge pad app to your phone. Please make sure you are downloading the parent concierge pad app. It's the green app with the thunderbolt. Okay, so for this process in this video, I have already completed my registration and downloaded my parent concierge pad app and I'm ready to continue to do the health screening survey. I have put my username and password and I'm going to click login. And then at the bottom of my screen, I'm going to see four icons. I want to click on the dismissal icon. Once I click on the dismissal icon, it might take a few seconds, but you will see all of your students show up. Okay, I have three students that I have enrolled in my registration process with Concierge Pad. I have Chloe, Lily, and Paige. Now I want you to notice that there are little medical bags next to their name. That's because I have already completed their health screenings and you will see a red one next to Chloe and green ones next to Lily and Paige. Once I complete the health screening, if I have said yes to any of the questions on the health screening, it will show a red medical bag indicating that you should not be bringing that student to school for their health and safety as well as the other students and parents and teachers health and safety. If you answered no to the questions, then you will be seeing a green medical bag next to your student's name. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this survey is and how to access it. So for Paige, let's pretend that I want to complete her health screening. So I'm going to click view next to her name and then on the drop down list, I'm going to select student health survey and I want to start the survey. Now on all of these questions, please be as honest as you possibly can for the health and safety of everyone who will be at school. All right, does she have fever and chills? No. Does she have uncontrolled cough? No. A new uncontrolled cough? No. Shortness of breath or difficulty of breathing? No. Fatigue, muscle, or body aches? No. New onset of severe headache? No. A new loss of taste or smell? No. A sore throat? Congestion or runny nose? Diarrhea, vomiting, or abdominal pain? Has your child had close contact with a person who tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Has your child traveled outside of South Florida in the last week? No. And has your child had a fever of 100.4 or greater in the last three days? No. And then the last question, does your child currently have a fever? No. So I've honestly answered no to all of these questions, which means that I am now completing my survey. So I'm going to click on complete, select OK, and then you're going to click on the little arrow next to survey to go back to see all of your students. Click on the little arrow again. And then if you answered no, honestly, to all of those questions, you will see a little green medical bag next to that student's name, which means that they are clear to come to school that day. Please answer as honestly as you can again. And if you answer yes to any of the questions and you have a red medical bag next to your student's name, do not bring your student to school that day and call the office. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the office.